during one restless night. It all started as a dream, tugging at my curiosity. Then the same dream reoccurred night after night, pulling at my psyche, infiltrating my every thought. Finally, the dream became a vision, seizing the, the very fiber of my soul so that I, I no longer needed to sleep. My new need ordered me to act before the vision's awful outcome. So, I must get arrested and it must be a crime ugly enough to get me imprisoned. That's the only way I can survive, outlive my vision. Understand, I must act before this apocalypse occurs. But how do I get arrested and subsequent, subsequently sent to prison? This is not an easy prospect for a white guy. If I were African, Hispanic, or, or Native American, then all I would have to do is drive around in my car at night, get stopped by the police for questioning, protest their act, resist their arrest, get shuffled through their courts, and go to prison. But I'm white, clean cut, and well, insensitive. I don't have the slightest idea how to get into prison. My dilemma is that society did not condition me to self-destruct as it did the black, the brown, the red human beings. Yeah. I know, I know, you all think I'm a blabbering fool for wanting to go to prison, but you wait and you will see. I no longer need to sleep. I eat enough only to nourish my body. I sit on a hard chair and stare out at the city's activity out my window, waiting for my vision to visit me. It will come. It always does. It, 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 it comes now. I see a remote prison of the very type I must get into. The shiny steel and clean cement kind that that isolates prisoners from their loved ones. A misty veil cloaks the prison's parameters that I can only see a few feet beyond its wall. But I know everything is gone, destroyed, annihilated, leaving only a flat smoldering layer of dust. Oh, there's a few scattered bands of humans still living, but they're held captive in open pits. The alien invaders, aliens, with their macabre sense of humor, left standing only prisons of the type I look upon, I guess they saw no need to destroy what is already a place of destruction. Anyway, that is the opening monologue to my stage play, Outside Intervention. I know if there's anyone out there you're saying, well, boy, does this guy need acting lessons. Well, they cost money. But I have something that is free for you. You can get 25 pages of the opening act of Outside Intervention uh, by going to www.chuckfair.com. 
and I'll raise the digital dust, uh, sending them to you. Oh, by the way, uh, water. Uh, anyway, thanks. We'll see you next time. If there is one.